opening kick from the Houston Roughnecks. Off and we are underway. It's Trey Williams fielding it from inside the five. Williams going left side. He is a burner out of Texas A&M. Quick pass left side, first down yardage. And that's Wes Saxton, former South Alabama Jaguar. Let's do third and six. Cook is quick time. There's a dart over the middle. Same result, first down, Vinny Papali. Papali, a standout a year ago in the USFL at New Orleans. And this is just a nice little look, little glance to the inside. He's your ultimate zone. John Filippo. Former OC for the Browns, Vikings, and Jags. First year head coach of these showboats. You can only have one headset for offense and defense. Teams get to decide how many they want to distribute. Kulkis downfield, first down yardage into the midst of Daywood Davis, his second catch of the drive. The wide receiver knew exactly where the line to gain was and went two yards behind it. On time with the throw is Case Kulkis. Memphis trying to make it three for three on third down. It's Cook is field suppression. You need the athleticism to dive forward. Ball is out, but it's ruled down, and it should be a first down. Cook is making it look easy. And that man is tough to take down. It's Jonathan Adams, the alpha dog of this offense out of Arkansas State. Fantastic job by Case Cookus, keeping his eyes downfield when under duress, knowing he's going to take a shot and delivers a strike. That's trusting what you're seeing in front of you. That's knowing what the timing of the route's going to require. That's a veteran quarterback that's play, playing in the USFL for man Wilson coverage. In at fullback for Victor. It's going to be play action. And down. He goes, Toby Johnson, back to back. Grown man stops in the red zone. That's how they do it at the University of Georgia. Told us we want to be able to control the line of scrimmage with four people. This time they brought some pressure off the edge, but it's the inside quickness and that first step explosiveness to penetrate the gap from Toby Johnson. He takes down. Houston hasn't even been on offense yet. 27 yarder for the Michigan State Spartan, Matt Coughlin. We are on the board here in H-Town. T.J. Pledger, his running back, and the former OU Sooner and Utah well, Ute, well. with a five-yard gain on Gun first down. double left close. Here, Tano, Isaiah Henning, flag down. As Christian McFarland gets the hit, the ball is loose, and they're going to say touchdown. Ruling on the field is Christian Ruling McFarland. The got it's in a holding for by six. the offense. Fumble recovered by the defense and scored. It's out. I've got it out clearly before the nine is down. So, and the return left was hash, clear, left right? Hash, left hash. Left hash is going for yep, one. Left no hash. issues. Picked it up, not down by contact. So the turnover and score are confirmed. He's, up. He's already confirmed it. One point from the two yard line. Anybody else reporting? Good lucks. Okay, good job. Christian McFarland was one of the players not protected. The showboat scooped him up. Here's Anthony Ratliff Williams now. On the return for the Roughnecks, the top special teams. I'm pretty sure Mr. Pledger wants to do great on this drive. Back to Pledger. And Pledger took some harm there. Malik Lowell getting it quickly. Third and four. And a tough catch in traffic. What I really like about this is Garantano hanging in there. He knows he's got somebody in his face. He's under duress, just slightly falls away, but this is where that arm strength is. Garantano, a little more time. Short of the stick, still fighting is Ratliff Williams, and he's going to be forced back to set up a fourth down. It's been the story so far, six of nine, 55 yards. 
looking sharp. Sideline throw, and that is just on the money, Tom. And sink. Five step drop, plant, get the ball out, speed cut out, pitch and catch. Kayla, he looks like a dishwasher with arms. <laughs> I don't know if he said that, <laughs> but you got it. Kokis, another BB to Jonathan Adams. Don't sleep on Jonathan Adams. Man. Pressure. Hit hard, but in to the hands of an open man. Sage Surratt out of Wake Forest and the Demon D says, move those chains. 23 yards and he took a shot. Let's go, Case Cook is bringing the heat off the right side. Free rusher. Roughnecks fans, they brought the noise. They're doing their best. And here is Victor. And that is a first down. What a push by the O-line. Haven't had a lot of success on the ground, but they haven't abandoned it. They just keep kind of plugging away, almost like a woodpecker in a petrified forest. Half the distance to the goal line in the UFL, it would be up to the two-yard line on those penalties. Cookies goes down. Dropped by Bingham. Nice job by Bingham coming off the edge here. and They're trying to hit the glance right behind in that second window. When he had nine sacks for Arkansas State. Cookies underneath Surratt. Showboats four or five on third down. Cookies has been nearly perfect on this drive. Did we get the tippy toe? Yes. Papali got the tippy toes in. Showboats do it again. Wow. What a catch. Oh, yeah. One point right hash. Garland to kick to Isaiah Henney. Henney just north of his five-yard line. And Henny will be dropped down to 30. Let's check in with Kayla. He was one of the four guys they felt like they had to have because of what he means to the football team in the locker room. Garantano back to work. Quick toss to Isaiah Henny. So we got a third and one. Evans with the carry, and there's the first down. Tom, this is the way it should be. Get right. it right. That did not take long to get it right. No, it didn't take long to get it right. You heard the description from Dean Blandino there. You got the arm and the elbow down. The body goes down. And Late substitution here with Quentin Meeks just arriving on the field for the showboats. Gertano, pressure at his feet, and he's dropped. Jordan Ferguson with the sack. It looked like Garantano was going to be able to get out of trouble there and then kind of spun back into it right there when he ran into his own offensive lineman on the defensive front. Now, Houston way behind the chains. Garantano hasn't had a chance to show off that big arm. It's an underneath play. That was the longest gain of the day for the Roughnecks. Third down. Easy pitch and catch. Emmanuel Butler. Receiver in Arkansas State. Now they're on separate sides. Yeah, this is just a simple pitch and catch. You have a curl flat. Now doing a fine job with Memphis. How about a 55 yarder by JJ Molson to get on the board? It's a low one. It's got the distance. Hey, pour a cold one for the eighth generation descendant of John Molson. Houston gets the ball coming out of the locker room to start the third quarter on offense. That was a Third and 12, under a minute. Oh, Kukis is hit hard. It floats, but it lands in the hands of Jonathan Adams. How'd he do it? Tell you what, man, this guy is tougher than nails. He's locked in. He sees the target. So Memphis with two timeouts here, 35 seconds left. Kukis dumping down. Darius Victor staying up. He's a tough dude to bring down. Houston, their third and final timeout. Tried to go low there on Victor. They've got to come up with some answers up front to start protecting their quarterback. Down he goes. Carantano is sacked, as you were saying. Always the biggest concern of every coach and staff in a spring football league is the offensive line in the first few weeks of the season. Gunners have to be inside the numbers. Cannot take off downfield until the ball is kicked, and that one is blocked and ends up in the hands of a roughneck player. 
Tyson Render with the block. That's a great play, just extending another area that you'd become concerned about as a coaching staff early on in the season is the opponent a little guy. <laughs> My gosh. Cook is picked off. That's how you get back in the game. Ruben Foster, the Alabama sensation to the 50. Watch him drop and just key the eyes of Cookus. It just hangs in there. I don't think Cookus thought he was going to be able to elevate like that. Reuben Foster got up, plucked it, got down, and created some positive momentum. Now you're on the plus side of the 50. Get this crowd back into it a little bit. Well, you guys are nailing it because you're reviewing everything, and this game is still moving. Some shaking, baking. It's some contact there from Darius Victor as Keontae Shad brings him down. Um, man, just him being here today and just, you know, me being out here just to show him some support, you know, man, it means the world, you know, just to see him being the head coach now. And appreciate you, Dre. It was also an honor to be one of your teammates, my man. I appreciate you, bro. Little sweep here, and that's Daywood Davis, who has a solid debut building here in the UFL. Darius Victor trying to get to the left side and Roughnecks not letting them get there. Segapolu. Uh, this is a, a salty defensive front. There's a lot of people running the football. They leverage the football really, really well. Tyon Evans complete. Let's go NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR. Second and short using the legs. It's been effective today. First down yardage and more. Flag is down at the 40. As Garantano picks up the first down. And it is a 21 yard pickup. So on this drive, the two longest plays so far by the Roughnecks. Four man rush. First down. Part about being in the National Football League, if that's where you're trying to go. You On the Memphis special teams. Garantano left side, working the screen to the 50, still up sideline, and it's Justin Hall. The ball State, 17 yards. Love this play call because it quickly gets the ball out of Garantano's hands and into space, which protects him and gets them an explosive play. Garrett motions out top of the screen. He was a receiver in the NFL. Garantano, oh, no, ball is out. Showboats recover. A game-changing hit by the South Florida Bull, Greg Reeves. Oh, you recovering. See Jared Garantano right here looking to his right initially. Tries to step up, and then the walls just close in on the backside. Quarterback stepped up. A beautiful play couldn't draw it up any better. Your guy was right there to get the recovery. Recovers the fumble. Looked like Darius Victor. They love football here in Houston, Texas. And their team has a shot. Now, first and five. Merritt Tano working it to Merritt. Merritt's got a blocker. Merritt to the shadow of the goal line. I love the timing of this play call by Eric Price, the offensive coordinator. Nicely set up. Good patience by the quarterback. Garantano will take it himself. He's in the end zone. Roughnecks making it interesting. Hey, Colorado. Colorado, ready. What is it? To make it a field goal game. Garantano to the end zone. No. The dispersal draft, rather. They're holding up. The razzle dazzle. Davis trying to get the edge. JJ Wilson, bottom of the screen. 
Looking up top, broke it up. It's going to set up a fourth and four. Elder does it again. Trying to pick it and rub it off right there. Houston not biting defensively. Corn Elder at it again. Too. So they can't allow a quick field goal. Still march down the field and get the three point conversion before it's over top. Swin is bottled up. I think, you know, as with most football games, it's, you know, most games are lost. They're not won. And today, Houston made more errors than Memphis did. Yeah. If you're Memphis, you got to feel pretty good about the new quarterback you found yeah. with Kate Cook is 23 of 40, 203. He looked poised. He looked in control. Did have that one interception to Ruben Foster. Yeah, offensively, they were not sloppy. They had a couple of plays here and there. That's to be expected. But you're going to start to see the play get better week in and week out in the UFL as the offensive lines get better, as the quarterbacks and the targets start to get in rhythm. You're going to start seeing much, much better football each and every week it's gonna be a lot of fun so if you took Memphis as the favorite at one and a half congratulations How about the under there Lord? if you're like Tom Luganville and took the under congratulations as well the Memphis showboats with John DiFilippo at the helm opens up UFL weekend with the win against the Houston Roughnecks, moving to 1-0 and on the young season. Say this much.